Sports are a big part of culture in America today. Many people in America are aware of sports like football, basketball, and baseball. However, there are many sports people know very little or nothing about. One of those sports happens to be long track speed skating. Speed skating became an Olympic event in 1924 at the Olympic Games in Chaminade, France. Speed skating is like track on ice. The objective is to race around the track faster than your opponents. Some of the famous United States competitors of long track speed skating are the revolutionists of the sport, Eric Hyden, who won five gold medals in 1980, and Bonnie Blair, who has won five gold medals and one bronze medal between 1988 and 1994, and one of today's Olympic champions, Shawnee Davis, who has won two golds and two silver medals. These three, along with many other professional speed skaters, have trained just minutes away from Waukesha at the Pettit National Ice Center in Milwaukee. Okay, well, I'm Amanda Gayette, and I started skating when I was about eight years old, when my stepdad introduced me to it, when he married my mom. We kind of married the sport, too, because he was world champion at the time, and for his age group, so we kind of got into it, and kind of ever since then, I was interested in it. What are the different types of speed skating races? Well, there are two different types of races. There's pack style and there's track style, which is the track style is what they do in the Olympics, where it's basically the fastest like time, so you're racing the clock, versus pack style, which is where it's multiple people off the line, and it's basically a first person to the line. Um, those are the two like types of races. Otherwise, there are different events every year. There's events for like my level, which is like junior national, junior world level. There's world cup level racing, which is all over the world. And there's, of course, at the Olympic time, there's Olympic level. But otherwise, like everybody can usually participate in certain events. Otherwise, when you get up to my level or world cup level, you have to make a certain time or you have to be on a certain team to compete at those levels. And it kind of depends on where you're at, I guess. What equipment and attire is required for speed skating? Um, well, for my skates, um, I personally have a customized boot. So I went and got like a molding of my foot. And so my skate fits me and me only kind of thing. And um, it's made out of carbon fiber and leather on the outside just for the design and all that. And it's got a standard lace up and then a lace cover with a zipper and um, for long track, which is the this kind of skating I do, it's a little bit lower cut, so it's kind of cut just below the ankle, so I have a little bit more flexibility with how I move my ankle versus short track, which is more of they want to hold your ankle and all that. Um, it's attached in the front for um, long track, and it's called a clap blade, which is where the back will kind of come off like this as you're going and doing a push the blade stays on the ice longer and then when you lift your foot up it'll come back with like a spring and that kind of thing that allows you to get more contact with the ice and then for our skin suits for the level that I'm at we're at we we wear these rubberized skin suits and basically from the knee and like the elbow up it's like a rubberized kind of spandexy material it's really warm um, it's kind of all one piece, so you just step into it, and it's just got a zipper on the front, and it's skin tight. Um, from like the elbow down and from the knee down, it's like a Kevlar material, which is like a non-cuttable material just to protect your arms and legs from when they would do pack style from getting cut from a flying blade or whatever. And for if you fall or whatever, because falls can get pretty nasty. And every suit has a hood, which is for long track. We don't wear helmets. Um, in short track, you wear helmets for protection, but in long track, you want to be as aer as like aerodynamic as possible. So we have a, also a skin tight hood that cuts kind of across here, and um, that's pretty tight too. That usually kind of holds your head back. It's kind of painful, but you kind of get used to it. And then most skaters wear glasses too, just for eye protection and stuff. And also, most of us have contacts, and the contacts will like dry out, and dry out, and pop out. What is the procedure at the start of the race? They'll call your pair to the line, and usually they announce your names and that kind of thing on the loudspeaker. Um, 
you kind of just kind of go behind the line and you're just kind of shaking yourself out and then the starter will call you to the line, he'll go skaters to the start and usually you go right up to the line then you kind of get where your feet are, you kind of get your, where, you, where you want your feet to be and then um, the starter will go ready and you get down into the skating position and then usually there's about a two to three second pause and then the gun will be fired and that's go. Good. Would you describe the technique required for a turn? Turning is really where, like what I said, you really gain all of your speed and you basically want to feel the ice and your your whole goal in skating is to get as much push into the ice like the best way possible. So you're kind of pushing, like you'll push with your left leg and you'll bring it over as you're pushing with your, or with your left leg and with your right leg. So you'll push with your right leg as you're left leg is here and then as you're bringing it over it's kind of like a rhythm so usually with most races you have one arm on your back which is usually your left arm and you put your left arm on your back and you'll just kind of have that rhythm to go over and it's basically just leaning into the turn the right way and kind of making sure that you keep that pressure in the ice and making sure you have a proper weight transfer. Describe the technique required on a straightaway. For a straightaway, you're kind of just trying to maintain your speed that you get in the corner. So it's just trying to be as aerodynamic and kind of technically sound as possible. Um, you're kind of just working your edges and you're working your body weight to kind of maintain your speed. And you basically want to get all the way over, like as you switch from leg to leg you want to get all the way over and get on that outside edge and then you let your body fall and kind of use your body weight to kind of gain more momentum as you push. I don't know, you just kind of want to get over one skate and over the other one just kind of as rhythmically and technically sound as possible. Why would you recommend speed skating for those who haven't tried it? It's something really different and it's kind of, it's a harder workout than people give it credit for and it's a good, I don't know, I think it's one of the better workouts just for cardio and you get a lot of leg strength and lower back strength. I mean it is really hard but I think it's fun because it's really unique and it's kind of just something different to try. Thank you for watching our documentary on speed skating. We hope you take the time to learn more about this sport yourself.